YouTube. Kind of a cool day. Today I'm going to take my little daughter who just turned four. It's her birthday today. I'm going to take her with me. She loves going with me wherever I go. Who is Batman? Daddy. So she's just, just a really great partner. Oh, I hear her coming. Anyway, um, I'm going to go up the road about an hour to Myrtle Creek where lives the Saw King, a person world renowned for modifying these chainsaws. Hey everyone, welcome to Shop Talk. We're looking at August's MS200T chainsaw, top panel chainsaw. It had some engine issues. <laughs> Happy birthday! And then uh, I'm gonna have uh, I'm gonna pick up a couple huskies. A friend of mine, James Cabral, really my first like YouTube buddy that I made years ago. He had two huskies modified, and he wants me to. Um, experience that <laughs> and um, me being uh, oh, I'm, I'm talking to my camera see, <laughs> see? say hi, hi. we're uh, I'm gonna pick up these two saws these husky saws and put them through the paces here for a week or two maybe more I don't know James and I'm gonna drop off this 88 to get it fixed well it's not it's not broken I don't know if you can see it. It's really, really cool, actually. It's brand new. I'm going to have it uh, hopped up, modified. And then I'm also going to have this new... This is a, a new 460. I know they don't make them anymore, but this one's new. I, I got it from a friend of mine who bought it new. Um, barely used it. Like, not even never even filed the chain um, really good shape like like perfect new and um, I'm gonna have it modified too and hopped up to be more like uh, this one this is a uh, 046 from back in the mid 90s 97 or something like that and uh, it has 210 pounds of compression we call it Excalibur, and there's a big story behind that. Some of you guys know it. Evidently, someone had traded it for a tattoo, and I want that saw to be more like it. So I'll go pick up James's saws. The rim's on there uh, to get it back for James, back to 3 eighths, if he wants. He, he, he may decide he wants to set up where you got it when he sees it. Hang out with the birthday girl. Ah! <laughs> and drop off an 880 and... 460. Hey, this is August Tanaki calling for Ridge. Alright, thanks. Hey, Rich. Hey, Rich. It's August. Pretty good. Uh, James told me them saws are done. Okay, uh, I would drive up there like right now and pick them up and drop off my. 88 and uh, 460 and um, I wonder if I could get like two minutes of camera time with you yeah I just want to for my channel I just want to kind of tell them you know go over what we might be doing as right before we do it and then later I'll do a follow-up when I pick it up and then I'll then I'll test them out it'll be kind of fun <laughs> you you got to you got to tell me all that on camera. Just save it. It'll be organic. Uh, all right, thanks. Bye.
My GoPro camera died halfway through recording that uh, conversation with Rich. So yeah, Rich is expecting us. We're going to show up. We are going to show up and we are going to drop off some saws and pick up some saws. And it's just a glorious day, right? Why is today special? You don't know? Raise your hand if it's your birthday. What are you doing? We're going to Myrtle Creek. It's the happening place. What? Nothing. <laughs> I said it's the happening place. Is it? No. I was going to say, I'm like, isn't it super tiny? Yeah, but it has a chainsaw place. how I sign. water? What do the trees drink? Juice. Trees drink juice? Yeah, cloud juice. Yeah! You know where I got the llama? <laughs> yeah! Where? Out of a claw machine. Out of a claw machine, that's right. Ever since I got that Vermeer, I've become really good at operating a claw. Yeah? <laughs> Husky. The Saw King and Rich, what, what are we going to do? Oh, expansion chamber. Do you want to build an expansion chamber on it? Or? Yeah, if I can use, still use it as a work saw. We'll see. We'll see. It, it kind of gets in the way, of course, but uh, nothing else. We can do a uh, modified exhaust on it. We're going to take the cylinder off. I got a machinist who's going to do the decking. And then we're going to um, uh, port it and change the timing on it and make it a very high performance chainsaw. Cool. So, and what about same on this one? Same on this guy. We won't probably won't, we're not going to do the uh, expansion chamber, of course. We'll make it a really good work saw. Is that what mm -hmm. we want to do? Yeah. All I need to do is make giant stump cuts with this. Okay. All right. Well, that's, we'll see. We'll see if we can so, uh, get that on there, integrate that into it, and uh, get that going for you. How about a full wrap? Uh, yeah, should be no problem. Put the full okay. wrap on there. It's got the big spikes already. It looks good. And All right. Should be a great saw for it. Tell them real quick what port and polish means. We uh, take the cylinder off, we get it decked, which is shaving the deck of it uh, to increase the compression ratio. Then we go into the transfers and the intake and exhaust ports, enhance them to the maximum to make it flow better. That's what we do. Cool. All right, tell me about the saws that I'm picking up for James. These are James's saws, and uh, they were uh, modified uh, West Coast build on both of them. Uh, they've got some trick chains on them. That is a uh, 3 8 low profile chisel chain, silvy ground with my silvy uh, grinder. Very fast cutting. This one has a 8 tooth sprocket to speed up the chain and just makes it a very fun, very fast chainsaw. Same on this 346. It's got the special chain on it, and it's been ported, decked. And they're just fun to run. So these huskies are souped up. Oh yeah, most definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, most definitely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, happy birthday. Yeah. How's your youngest one doing? You know, last, uh, last great. summer. He's great. Was it last summer? Hate to take time out for a chainsaw while we're having a baby, but this is a very special saw, right? Oh yes, it is. Very high performance. Yeah. yeah. He's a year old. Wow. Maybe. Yeah. He's doing yeah. really good. You want the pink one? Here it is. Hey, I'm there. taking three huskies home. <laughs> That's a sharp one there. Should we port that one? <laughs> I think she'll be okay without the safety tip, but yeah, you never know. <laughs> so 
She's got the saw. We're driving back. I'm feeling a little bit lighter than usual, and I'm like, where's my wallet? And I look around, I can't find it. Sure enough, I call them. First thing Rich says is, you left your billfold, so now we gotta go back. It's probably some kind of sign. When you leave your wallet at the saw shop, it's kind of, is some kind of poetic symbol of where your money goes. So why I left it, I set it down to chop that that husky out of the box. All right, you like it? Cool. All right. All right, thank you. Thank you. at the ranch this is what they call a top saw pretty neat tool it's got everything for still and husky all in one spot I wanted to take a minute and answer this question just take me a second to answer this question that I didn't want to take the time to answer via print we have walnut that the customer wants us to remove given that it is one of two that I know of in our town. I'm kind of reluctant to remove the tree. I have met with her a couple times explaining that to prune the tree is the best option. It's in good health. Just half a dozen dead limbs, two that are sizable that need to be removed to ensure integrity of the crown. Ensure, that's a word that I don't use uh, when uh, it sounds too much like saying the word safe, which is another word I don't use. I know that if I can't convince her, someone else will come in and grant her wishes, just trying to keep a clear mind and do the right thing. Any input on your part would be huge. Thank you. This is Corey Chase. Uh, I don't have, I'm not super sensitive about, to me, trees are property. And I, I occasionally am annoyed when somebody thinks they have to cut down a tree they're afraid of it when I don't when I'm not afraid of it and I'm just I just think that they're being um, dumb and yeah, that's a harsh word but anyway I explained to them that they don't have to do it but if ultimately they want to then I'm the guy really I mean it's like uh, it's theirs. Also, like little old ladies will, you could convince them that the tree is okay, that a little bit of pruning, a wind thinning, whatever it takes, end weight reduction. But if those little old ladies, after, see, after you leave and day goes into week, goes into month, the same germ that made them afraid of it to begin with is gonna come back and they're just not going to be at peace until it's gone. And so if you think it's that kind of scenario where it's their property, this is my, this is my opinion, it's their property and they're not at peace enough in here to listen to the expert, to sort of just let it go, just relax and say hey life's got calculated risk and the expert says that my chances are pretty good here if they're not able to do that if they're just kind of not able like a squirrel crossing the road they can't make up their mind then they're better off having it cut down just for their own peace that's my opinion and if that's the case then i'll do it um yeah oh the crew's back just wanted to answer that. I'm gonna test these saws here in a minute, both these Huskies on a piece of wood in the back of my trailer. We're gonna we're gonna test the 346 XP first. You heard what Rich said about the bar chain. And on this one, he's got a different sprocket. And you heard what he said about how he tunes up the motors. Both of these saws are built. They're not 
stock. So we'll try the 346 XP first. <laughs> first time I ever ran that saw I don't know if I've ever run a stock one either but <laughs> definitely got her done yeah let's do another one <laughs> did I say 562 Let me see. What is it, James? I don't know all the husky numbers. This just says it's unmarked. No, not that one. Definitely bad to the bone. 562 XP. So now we'll try the 562 XP. That first one really rips. <laughs> This next one, 14 inches. Uh, it's a bummer there's a knot on the bottom. And just for fun, I'll go ahead and cut right through this knot. panel bar is coming up and mm -hmm. it's kind yeah. of hampering me I don't usually like hearing chainsaws without my hearing protection it's just really annoying yeah that thing sounds nice yeah yeah <laughs> take off the ear pro <laughs> I don't run ear plugs with this saw uh -huh, it's too purdy <laughs> uh Damien was running the black 200t the one that's hop rich uh Rich hopped up my 200T, the black saw. Damien was using it today after months with a stock 201. What are your thoughts? It's the best top handled saw I've ever ran in my life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was yeah. it was nice. It's it's like butter on every cut. It doesn't matter what you're cutting either. It's uh, yeah. something you gotta be careful with. He called me during the day and he was like, something, something, something. All he wants is a 200 now, something, something. <laughs> yeah, but the world sucks and you can't hardly. Oh yeah, the world is a terrible place because you can't just go buy them. And um, and you can get a, a 201 and mod that. Mm -hmm. But a 201, the tank is too small still, sorry. It's way too small. A Husky uh, 540, guys, Decent saw, tank, gas tank too small. My only complaint really about it. Mm. So, 200 has a big tank. And um, they got it right. They got it right. And then like Obama or somebody ruined everything. Mm -hmm. Right? Wasn't yeah. that what happened? I don't remember who did it. Who yeah. did it? So Obama. Blame him. It was Obama. Or it was whoever you don't like. <laughs> They ruined it. Hillary. <laughs> yeah, maybe Trump. Maybe Trump ruined it. Like All I you know, know is maybe it wasn't they, me. We like it. Bring it back. Yeah. Make the trim saw great again. Fifteen inch to the outside of the bark. So you'll have to go. 
Yeah, yeah. wrap around and get that spot that the tip's not yeah. going to reach. Yeah, try not to. Try not to bog it down, but try to. Yeah, keep yeah. it. Yeah, <laughs> you know. Right there in that perfect power band. Yeah, I've got it a couple times, but a couple of those cuts I flubbed it up. Well, it's really easy to get excited with this thing, too. I know, I'm sure. you're just like, you're like, it'll take more. It's unstoppable. <laughs> You kept it revved the whole time. That was Just awesome. About there and then. Let's cut one on my iPhone for James and I'll send okay. it to him. Ready, James? This is for you, buddy. So you get at it. How does it feel? It's, like it. it doesn't stop. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Did you get anything good? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Is this going to go on YouTube? Yep. Yeah! <laughs>